Hello everyone, welcome back to Raise Aerospace and Kerbal Space Program 2. It's been a little bit since I've recorded a video in Kerbal Space Program 2, and that's simply because I haven't had any pressing ideas to test in Kerbal Space Program 2. Um, of course, the simulation is currently a little bit limited in terms of various aspects, especially regarding ion engines, apparently. The last idea I had was a little ion engine chip and we were supposed to be able to time warp during the ion engine burns and for some of it we were able to but the rest of it we weren't so there there went that idea and i still wanted to test the soi entry and exits but that's just testing that they fixed the bug properly and that's not really something to get me motivated uh but i decided that i would pop in and try to make a nice little personal uh ssto aircraft this is just for Kerbals to cruise around in, if you will. Uh, that is partly thanks to the fact that they added the docking ports, the Mark II form factor docking ports, these little guys here in the latest patch. Well, uh, disregarding the hotfix. We've got a controller here, and then the rest of it's fuel. There's no cargo bay, so it's just something to cruise around in. And the thing I need to test is, well, the Delta V reading doesn't tell me anything, does it? Uh, this is the Rapier plus Nerva style, and I don't know how well that works with the tanks. So this was a thing that people used in Kerbal Space Program 1, uh, but now that we have these hydrogen tanks feeding the nuclear engines, and they're rather big and not very dense, uh, that throws things off a bit compared to when we were using liquid fuel. And, uh, you know, I've had the dropship and all that business, and that thing is mostly structurally hydrogen tank. Uh, so, is it worthwhile having the nerve on here at all, or, or not? I mean, it's pretty heavy. Uh, I've already clipped it in quite a lot, and... Yeah, maybe, maybe it's just not suitable for a personal little plane here. But as you can see, it's not like the Delta V reading is giving me actual information right now. So we have to test it out. So let's go ahead and check it out. I think I'll be doing a lot of plane things. It's sort of my specialty. Uh, except it looks like my landing gear is a little bit too far forward. Uh, yeah, okay. All right. Let's go back. Let's go back. As you can see, I have not tested it yet. <laughs> I thought I had it about right. Let's see. See, I mean, uh, the landing gear is behind the center of mass, so... Oh well, anyway. I wasn't crazy. I've got the Hornet. The reason for the color scheme is that we can't change the color of the tanks, right? They're gold foil no matter what, regardless of what color we set. So I decided to just make the body match it. I'm sure other people have done this too. Okay, that's better. All right, great beers. I don't know if I want to put canards on this or not. That's another thing. Oh, I'm trying to use my joystick, right? We can't do that here. Well, it takes off. I was contemplating putting even less wing, like having it be like a uh, flying carpet kind of thing. Joystick support, please. Yeah, I don't know what the proper fuel mixture for this setup would be either right now. Well, let's see how fast we can go in air breathing mode. We're going pretty fast already, but it's audibly struggling. We're really creeping up. I'm gonna climb and let it automatically switch modes. Oh, 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 we're deviating. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah, balance has been thrown off. And now we're in rocket mode. Okay, no, we're retro burning in rocket mode. That's not good. Um. I hate controlling things with keyboard. I forgot about that aspect. <laughs> um, mostly everything is center mounted. I guess I should rock it back this way for a bit. This is some weird, you know, 7th generation fighter maneuver or something.
We don't have that much air breathing to do. Let me just... I thought I had the shutdown of the rapiers. Okay, hold on. I want to save them for when we can actually use them. Oops. So, what are we carrying too much of? It's not too bad on Oxidizer. I think the nuclear engines is useless. I don't know, we should try and make orbit first. It's possible that I could get us over to the moon and everything. Which would be nice. Also out here, the yellow is a little bit too yellow compared to the tanks. It seemed like something close to the mode switch was the problem, as far as flipping out. Maybe I should just manually switch modes instead of letting it try and do something. Will we be able to get back? Who knows. We can see the coast, that's always a plus. And that says deactivate, but it's off. Make up your mind. Okay. Uh, it's uh, gonna be tough. We're losing a lot of speed and height. It'll probably be more efficient to accelerate here than later. And then if we fail to land, we fail to land. What can we do? Oh, we'll try and land over here somewhere. Oh, it's way over there. We're way too far north. I mean, it sort of flies fine. I, I, I don't know about it turning because the pitch controls are also the roll controls, but um, more or less it flies okay. So I think it was just a transition between air breathing and rocket mode rapier. That was the problem. Okay, well, just turning like that to demonstrate uh, might have caused too much drag. Doesn't blend well with this sort of environment, though. Did I pitch up too early? I think I pitched up too early. We're a bit stally. Uh, uh, come on, go down. <laughs> go down, we don't have much speed. Ah, uh, okay. I mean, it took off at like 75 meters per second, so... When it's empty, it should land less than that. Okay, well, Valentina's safe. Okay, I've decided to change the tank in the back here to a pure methane tank instead of the methane oxygen tank. I had used the methane oxygen tank because it was tapered and looked right, but we we're gonna keep trying the nerve because we didn't really get to space to see it do its thing. But if it only ends up having 645 meters per second, that's not good enough. What we want is enough to transfer to the moon and, like, come back, maybe. So that's not enough. The problem is the form factor of the hydrogen tanks. Uh, we're using the small one because that's what would fit this sort of shape, right? We can't have medium ones. It's not going to look good. And the small ones only come in this size. So we don't have like a half size one to put in front here or something like that. So this is about it. We could probably make an X-Wing and have four of them, but uh, that, that's an idea. Uh, but anyway, I uh, wanted to check the action groups. I thought I had uh, the shutoff. I had toggle engine for the rapiers on action group two, but they weren't, they weren't toggling very effectively, I have to say. But we'll try that again. All right, let's see. All right, so go. Still trying to use my joystick first. I need to cut down on the wing. There's no excuse for it taking off at this speed. 
Looks good though. It accelerates so well, I wonder if it's possible to get away with just one rapier. Okay, I'll switch a little bit early. I'm switching. I'm trying to pull up here. Don't need to do too much of that. I haven't fitted RCS yet, but still need to do that to make use of the docking port. Okay, well, we're a little bit short on oxidizer, actually. Well, nuclear engine. Let's see what it can do for us here. Hardly need the rapiers if they don't do much in rocket mode, though. Looks like I need the oxidizer in the back again. The other tank was a better choice. Yeah, the nuclear engine isn't worth it. I mean, it's helping us get to orbit potentially here, but it definitely only has like 600 meters per second. Let's get there temporarily. We do need to come back. I would like to do a proper re-entry with this. So, that's gotta be complicated with the fuel we have left. Part of this is just keeping my stock chops after doing a whole lot of realism overhaul. Well now... Our periapsis is all the way over there, and we want to get back to the space center. Hmm... I lifted up to 30 kilometers. That seems like a lot of glide. <laughs> It's a lot of glide. Well, let's see what we get. So that's 100 by 31 right now. Like that. Where will we end up? Doesn't have any RCS to hold attitude or anything. But we don't want that much drag, do we? We sort of want to point prograde to... Sort of stay up until we reach the space center. It's not like we've got re-entry heating right now. I guess they're working on it, but we don't have to worry about it for now. Should get some lights on here. You can sort of see inside there. We can see Valentina in there through the through the window there. They keep Tempting us with the IVA without actually giving us the IVA. <laughs> I'll use up the hydrogen. Temporarily boosting us. I mean, it'd be good if we could get it over to daylight. Seems like a stretch, though. We're definitely doing some gliding here. We can see um, sea level altitude is actually going up. We're using some of our speed to do that. Well, I think our rapiers can start working soon. We can go to a lower altitude. The glow of the sun on the horizon is in front of us now. Maybe we can get into sunlight. We're not getting to Space Center, but maybe we can get into sunlight. Okay, well, they should work now. Heck of a plume. Or jet engines. I don't remember seeing jet engines with plumes like these. And right now they're in air breathing mode. So, I mean, the problem is we, we definitely carried way too much methane compared to our oxygen. I should put the old tank back in. Okay, well, diminishing returns there. Let's not go too fast then. I 
we can cruise at 1500, that'd be nice. Well, there's daylight. We got that far. Still got some fuel, I'll see how far I can go. Well, less than one ton of fuel left. I'm dreaming of the home continent over here. It's probably safer not to dream of the home continent there, but... It's really tempting me to try and get to the Space Center, isn't it? But we've got a third of a ton of fuel left. Well, again, we'll see how far we get. I mean, in theory, the impact point is ballistic without a glide, so... We can do a little bit better than that. Well, home continent in view. About to run out of fuel. But now our impact point is right there, so I guess I'm gonna try to get to the space center before a dead stick landing. And that's the fuel gone. It's all glide now. This doesn't have the hugest wing ever after all. It's more wing than I needed for takeoff. But this is a different business. If we can see the Space Center, we're in good shape, but I can't see it yet. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna divert a little over to here. Since it looks flatter. Well, 50 kilometers, but there's no way with the loss of speed that we're experiencing. So we almost made an orbit. <laughs> Not quite. Well, I don't know how rough it's gonna be around here. The beaches are better. The trees are not collidable. It's everything else we have to worry about. Uh... Oh, okay, I can't see the plane. Uh, uh, oh, I lost something. I lost some engines. Oh, and we're tipping, and we're tipping, no, ow, 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 oh, okay, rough, but Valentina survived, she got shaken up there too, and we are turtled, okay, and floating gear, that's because I always attach the landing gear to the body, but anyway, well, she survived, the Hornet, uh, I don't know about the viability of the Nerve plus Rapier mix. I don't think it's particularly good in this format. Not in the personal spacecraft format that we have here. Maybe in a larger format. But really, if you're using the larger format, you might as well put the Swerve, right? Because it's so much more efficient. Does the Nerve have a purpose? That is a question I need to figure out. But anyway, uh, with Valentina still alive, I'll leave it here and say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.